Now here's your tale of the tape for Super Bowl 52. When it comes to points scored and points allowed, you look at them, they're very, very similar. For a more analytical angle, we can look at Football Outsiders DVOA ratings, which factor in every play by each unit this season. So the Pats' number one offense will go against Philly's number one defense, but New England has a sizable edge in special teams. Nobody ever talks about special teams. Now, if you still haven't bet the Super Bowl and you're trying to figure out how are you going to bet it now versus waiting for kickoff, our guy in the desert, Jonathan Von Tobel, can help you out right now. Pretty simple. If you like the Patriots, bet it now. Uh, money line and spread. I, there were talks earlier in the week of four and a half, but, or excuse me, three and a half, but now that we're starting to see a couple more four and a halfs pop up, I'm not sure if it gets that low, so go and lay the four if you can. If you like the Eagles, hold out. Wait, and maybe you can get, the, like I said, four and a half are right there. Maybe you can get a five if you hold out long enough and right up until kickoff. Uh, and as far as the total is concerned, we're sitting at 48, 40, uh, 48 and a half in most books. If you like the under, you could probably wait and wait for a 49 to pop up. And if you like the over, go jump on it now because it's not going to get any lower. All right, thank you very much, Jonathan. Tyler Jacobs rejoins yep. me now in studio. Tyler, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. The waiting, as Tom Petty, God rest his soul, <laughs> said is the hardest part. We're just about there, Super Bowl 52. Mm -hmm. Just give me the overall best matchup, the most important matchup in this game to decide the winner. Yeah, one that intrigues me and I really think could go a long way in determining who wins this game is the matchup in the slot between Eagles corner Patrick Robinson and wide receiver Danny Amendola yep. of the New England Patriots. We know that Amendola is Tom Brady's safety blanket. We know that if Gronk is in some way still affected by the concussion or if an injury happens to a Cooks or a Hogan, Amendola is going to be the guy. He loves to work those slot areas to get the ball quickly and avoid the rush. And Patrick Robinson has revitalized his career yep. working in the secondary for Doug Peterson as a slot corner. He has been fantastic this year. We saw the return touchdown he had against Minnesota. If he can neutralize Amendola, I think that goes a long way to helping the Eagles beat the Patriots. But Whoa. if Amendola gets the best of Robinson, tough to beat Tom Brady when he's clicking with 80. We, we saw the stats and how close they are with the number one offense against the number one defense. Is special teams going to play a part in this Absolutely. game? Absolutely. I think special teams will act ultimately be the difference when I give you my predict prediction oh, for the game. Okay. I want to lead will the tell witness you here. how that happens. Uh, we've seen in years past, obviously you got Tom Brady, the star stars, right. in this game. But you have other stars that emerge right. from Super Bowl's past. David Tyree, the ball stuck mm -hmm. to his helmet. We didn't know who in the heck Malcolm Butler was until Seattle decided to throw a slant, and now everybody knows who he is. Right. Is there somebody that's under the radar right now that could be a household name after Sunday? I think Rex Burkhead is a guy I'm going to identify. You never know with this backfield in New England, is it going to be Deion Lewis? Is it going to be James White? Yeah, you don't know. Last year was James White in the Super Bowl, helping right. that comeback with that's some right. great plays. They bring in Rex Burkhead this year, and he has a very similar skill set to the other two backs there. I think Burkhead, many people have forgotten about him because at the end of the year, he has been hurt, and that allowed Deion Lewis to become the feature back, and Lewis has thrived in that role. But now, here's Bill Belichick and Josh McDaniels drawing up some plays for the forgotten one in the backfield. Rex Burkhead, he can catch the ball in the backfield. He can be a goal line back because he's the biggest in that trio. I think if the Pats win, Burkhead plays a big role. I also think that you, you got to stop Gronk, right? And yeah. We're all assuming he's going to play on Sunday, okay? So he's going to be out there. Danny Amendola has become Mr. Playoff in this mm -hmm. playoffs, right? Chris Hogan yeah. should get a lot of favorable matchups, shouldn't he? Because you can't let Gronk beat you. You would think you're going to kind of look to see what Amendola is doing. So in that passing game, right. I think Hogan could have a huge breakout game on Sunday. The thing with Tom Brady is he is capable of using every weapon and making that weapon look like the best weapon in the NFL. Right. Gronk we know is, but he can elevate Chris Hogan's. He can elevate Danny Amendola's. He can elevate Brandon Cooks's. So if he did the, it with the Deion Branches and the David Pattons in years past. So if the defense dictates, I got to go to Hogan, I have no qualms finding myself looking at a Super Bowl where Hogan has seven catches for 115 yards and two touchdowns. That easily can happen with 12 pulling the trigger. All right, nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. Who is winning Super Bowl 52 and why? New England Patriots, and I have a feeling this is going to be a Steven Goskowski last second field goal, 26 Every game they play is close. It's, he's going to be the Vinatieri in this game. He's going to hit a last second field goal in the final minute to give the Patriots a lead. Now they don't cover. Oh. But 26-23, they get the victory. Okay, good teams win. That's the over as well right now. Great teams cover. I got 27-17, Pats. And I think if you wake up Monday morning and you put your mortgage on Nick Foles, shame on you. Don't do it. It's Tom Brady against Nick Foles. And America is gearing up for this underdog story. They're putting on the underdog masks. And you're going to wake up Monday and go, I did what? Don't bet against TV 12. It's as simple as that.